What's going on guys, Brandon Harden here. I hope you're having a great day. Just got to Equinox, we're about to jump into a back workout. I don't know if I should actually be in the gym today considering I woke up this morning with like a sore throat. My voice has been like raspy all day so I don't even know if I should be here. Back happens to be like my favorite workout day so we're here getting it done. Anyway, now considering I got such good feedback on the last video which was a step-by-step -step broken down arm workout, I thought I'd come back and do exactly the same thing today for a back workout. So today's video, taking it back to the roots, showing you guys a step-by-step -step broken down workout on what a typical back workout workout would look like for me. So with that being said, we're going to make a pre-workout drink. Unbox something I received in the mail today, I think. It's a new pre-workout, which should be pretty interesting to test for the first time throughout this workout. So we're going to unbox that, eat my banana, make a pre-workout drink, and then get started. So inside the gym bag today, we have our pre-workout banana. Not too sure if it looks good anymore. I just really need the carbs. So I'm probably still going to have to eat this. Pre-workout glutamine and our BCAs and also the package I received today from a BPI sports, which I think is a pre-workout. See what we got. We have the new one more rep in what flavor is this? Hurricane orange. And then I think we have another one which is in flavor fruit punch. So probably gonna have the orange one today, but the package in itself looks pretty good. We're gonna test it out today, and then obviously if it's good, I'll tell you if it's good. If it's bad, I'll tell you if it's bad. If it makes my ears really tingly, I'm gonna tell you because I know a lot of people don't like that in pre-workouts. I'm not a massive pre-workout guy. I'll probably have like one or two pre-workouts a week considering I don't like to rely on it and you can actually become immune to pre-workouts if you have them so much if you do want to experience the full effect of a pre-workout just don't have it too much now I'm hoping this isn't one of the pre-workouts where like when you shot it it makes you cringe because it's so strong because I only have a water bottle today it took me like 10 minutes to like not find my shaker bottle gotta get it done we need to test this pre-workout if I can open the lid yep there we go why is it so big look at that for a scoop compared to like the size of my hand that is a fat scoop Ooh. It wasn't that bad, but the aftertaste isn't great. Now we just have to shot the glutamine and shot the BCAs and then we can get started. Oh. Oh, look, oh, look. I'm done. Mm. Just started the workout, already warmed up on a few sets of pull-ups and dip. Definitely my favorite exercise to do a back, purely for the reason that I feel like there's not one muscle group that I don't contract when I do a lateral pull down. I know it's lat dominant, but I feel like I can squeeze every single muscle in my back when I do this movement. So it's definitely one of my favorites. Now, two things to think about when performing a lateral pull down. These are things that I personally think about. One, keep your back at an 11 degree angle. There are studies that show this is like the correct angle to keep your back at when performing a lateral pull down. So 11 degree angle. And number two, at the end of the movement, Imagine like you're squeezing a pencil in between your lats to like get a full contraction as if you're like rinsing out a towel like every time you contract your muscles like you're squeezing your back that tight. <laughs> I don't know what they put in that pre-workout, but I've never like sweated this much after just warming up and doing one exercise. But second exercise is gonna be straight arm rope pull downs. Then we're gonna move on to a different variation of the lateral pull down. Been doing it for a while, but it's like a really wide lateral pull down. First, we're gonna do this and then I'll show you that. Would be enough. Thank you. 
We're moving on to T-bar rows. Haven't done T-bar rows in so long because like obviously I've been deadlifting every single back workout for the past few back workouts. I've been trying to like not put a lot of pressure on my lower back because we're not deadlifting today. We're going to be doing T-bar rows. How many plates? Do you think we can do this? Part three. I don't know how sturdy that is. <laughs> this is like a workout in itself. I just want to do some rows. Okay, we're good. Still sweating like I'm in the... Well, where am I? The gym is like just about to show up. We're gonna finish the workout off in the apartment complex gym on the fourth floor. It's actually a really decent gym and it's gonna take me like two seconds to get there. It's not gonna be detrimental to this workout, but I purposely come, because everyone keeps on asking me like, oh, why is the gym always shutting on you? I purposely come this late, like an hour before it closes, purely so I can record videos because I don't want people to start complaining. So the gym starts to have a problem with me recording videos. No one's ever said anything and this gym is completely- I kind of want to keep it that way, so I'll be coming later so I can do that. We're going to go to the apartment complex gym now to finish off the workout. This gym has enough equipment to like go through a whole workout, especially to do the final two exercises of this back workout. I think we've already done five, including the warm-up. So right now we have machine rows and face pulls. <laughs> made it final exercise i don't always do face pulls when i train back because sometimes i like to do it with shoulders because you do work predominantly rear delts it does also train your scapula so face pulls are really good to train with back as well as shoulders i don't know if i'm going to do triceps today honestly i, I kind of just want to like chill this pre-workout has like put me in a weird mood so i don't know if i'm going to do triceps i'm going to make the most of this final exercise and then we're going to head back i don't know if i regret having that pre-workout so late considering it's like quarter to 11 now. I'm definitely gonna like have to make the most of like being awake because I'm, I'm literally like wide right now. I'm not gonna be able to sleep for the next five hours. I always find it like so hard to sleep anyway considering like I'm the kind of person that at night my like my mind comes alive and I start to think about all the ideas under the sun. I always find it like really hard to get to sleep purely for the reason of that. Like I just start to think a lot. Mixed with this pre-workout, I'm pretty screwed. I think next time I have this pre-workout, I'm definitely just gonna have like half a scoop. This is the fourth floor. This is where I like sometimes come downstairs to do some editing. All right, so we have some turkey mints. We have some spinach. I think we have some mushrooms left. I think I'm gonna have the rest of these. And then for the carb sauce, brown Uncle Ben's rice. Yeah. Now I know I said this was just gonna be a workout video, but who doesn't love a good post-workout meal? seasoning for like ground turkey chicken there's always two seasonings that i always like use for like the protein part of the meal vegeta i think it's pronounced vegeta but it's basically a vegetable based seasoning and then i have a little bit of garlic salt as well i just mix them both together i've had a few people in the past ask me where i get the seasoning from you can basically pick it up from amazon it's usually sold in like polish or bulgarian shops but you can pick it up on amazon and honestly when you've tasted this you will never eat chicken or ground turkey or anything without it again a little bit and the same amount of this and there we have it the post workout meal we probably got about 200 grams of ground turkey 150 grams of brown rice and a handful of spinach let it wilt for like 30 seconds and then it's done one of the reasons this is my go-to post workout meal especially when it's late at night is because it literally takes five minutes to cook so it's pretty fast if you want a quick meal after the gym i actually wish i had the chicken now because ground turkey is like quite dry and that chicken breast looks succulent as succulent can be you're meant to cook it with the the packet Brandon. no you meant you're meant to do it like that no, look not. yes you are it's Brandon. you're meant to do it with the packet <laughs> <No, I'm not. laughs> <laughs> what are you doing 
You like butchering that bag. Where are the scissors? Over there, they're in they're in the container. Have you ever like done this before? What are you doing? You're like killing that chicken breast. Why are you shaking the pan like that? Because I'm trying to get the so it's not so hot. Oh yeah, because shaking it's gonna cool it down. I'm sorry that she treated you like that. You have to treat the chicken with respect. And then it will respect you. This is true. I just mocked you so hard because I knew exactly what you were about to say. I can't wait to. You had no head. idea what I was about can't to say. I definitely think I need a haircut right now. I'm messing up so much today. Redoing clips five times in a row because this pre-workout has like messed with my head. Like I can't, I can't talk. It's like stopping my tongue from working. It sounds really weird, but yeah, try and get some work done because there's no chance I'm going to sleep. It's just not going to happen. So I might as well make the most of it. I've been working on a few designs today for the next merch drop that should be happening in the next month or two. I've only ever released t-shirts before, so this, I showed you the hoodie design maybe a couple of videos ago. It's been finalized. We are working on a sample as we speak. So hopefully, so hope, oh God, I just can't do it. So hopefully it comes out really good. I want it to be amazing. I will not sell it if the quality isn't the best it can be. So that's really what I wanted to say. My brain's not, I'm gonna be recording a full day of eating really soon. But with that being said, I'm gonna end this video here if you enjoyed the video please smash the like button if you haven't already join the dance squad thank you kevin benoy for being part of the dance squad if you haven't already help me out please subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>